Good morning, Professor. Hi, Ellie. In our last episode, Professor Sebastian Reich asked me how to arrive in the center of Barcelona the fastest way. He did not listen to me and ended up lost. Oh no, I'm so sorry for both of you. You know, that's actually quite common. Algorithms give recommendations or instructions to humans who end up not following them at all. In my work, we identified kind of three main reasons for this. The first one is that humans are actually very reluctant to change. That's why the algorithm should be very clear in communicating what the underlying logic and factors it's taking into account. Second is that there's huge amount of data and decisions to make. So algorithms should simplify the decision process for the human as much as possible. Finally, humans are actually quite bad at understanding numbers in isolation. That's why it's very common to give, for instance, measures of length in number of buses on a, in a row, or surface as in number of soccer fields. That helps us understand what, the, what those numbers mean. Okay, it is clearer now. I guess since humans are not smarter than us, it is about time we show who's boss.